Now, establishment of family courts and commercialization of the violence against persons prohibition law, among other issues, have been advocated at this year's 2023 International Day of the Girl Child, put together by Save the Children in collaboration with the Benin State Government and other partners. This year's ceremony, which was commemorated at the Government House, Makodi, was titled Investing in Girls' Rights, Leadership and Well-being is geared towards educating the people about the right of girls to promote culture of gender equality. Our correspondent Francis Ter reports that the acting governor, Rita Shamiga, Florence A. Young, a refugee and adolescence champion for Save the Children International, and Kalisa Spamo, the Speaker of the Children Parliament, called on stakeholders to support the girl child towards actualizing her true dreams and potentials as they write a rough one trampled on. Let us work in synergy to make this dream come true for them so that the little girls who dream today can become strong women with visions tomorrow. This administration recognizes the challenges which include but not limited to early marriage, sexual violence, as well as gender-based violence. Nearly one in five girls are still not completing lower secondary, and nearly four in ten girls are still not completing upper secondary school today, globally. This is to ensure that the government and the key stakeholders support adolescent and young women on issues that bothers them. We are children in many states wish to kindly request you to use your very good office to support us in the following areas. One, strengthen the implementation of the Child's Rights Act, CRA, by including the children in Parliament to be members of the CRA implementation committee. Benin State, notwithstanding, has taken strides towards protection of, protection of you, the girl child. Today, also remind us of the need for the girl to girl child to exercise her right to participation. I am proud to bring to us the news of the revival of the children's parliament and the successful election which could not have been possible without the support of Save the Children International. Time has changed. Things have shifted. The woman has become the focal point of global discourse in an attempt to reposition the woman. I encourage therefore that to sustain this present effort and the dignity of womanhood shall be restored. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.